those of you looking to move to the Tampa, Florida area, you have to check out Land of Lakes. People absolutely love living here because you have the option of living in a master plan community, or you can choose to live in more of a rural setting if that's your thing. There are loads of wooded areas and preserves and a wide variety of lakes, some that you can even take your boat out on. To top it off, there's great schools, there's things to do, shopping and entertainment just around the corner. So in this video, my goal is to jump on the map and really take you through and show you around. I wanna show you what's close by, what's not close by, and really give you a good feel for what it's like living in the Land of Lakes area. So if this is information that you wanna know, stick with me, because here we go. Welcome if you are new here and new to me. I love making videos all about living in the Tampa Bay area, including the surrounding areas like Land Lakes. So if you like what you see in this video, consider subscribing and ringing that little bell so you're notified every time we put out new awesome content, just like today's video. And if you're thinking about relocating here, see that number on the screen? We are licensed realtors. Give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, however you want to get a hold of us. My team and I would love to help you with your transition to the Tampa Bay area. All right, for those of you who have not joined me yet for a map tour, this is an amazing tool to be able to understand the landscape and really get a bird's eye view or map view of the community and how to get around and what's nearby. Um, I just shot one on Wesley Chapel and people such a positive response. I'm doing it again for a lot of these other suburbs. In this video, we're jumping into Land of Lakes. And if you want more of a boots on the ground walking tour, definitely check out my vlog that I posted last week. You can see that right here. And that's me going in and out of the communities and really showing you around. And, and uh, you get a you know first person view of that. So anyway, uh, starting off to give you your bearings, here's the city of Tampa. For those of you moving here, you typically ask like, hey, I'm moving to Tampa. I want to live in the suburbs that's nearby. Most people that want those newer homes and newer communities, you're going to flock up north or down here to the east, uh, southeast. So while we're moving up north, the four most popular suburbs are going to be Odessa, Lutz, Wesley Chapel, and Land O'Lakes. Uh, since we just covered Wesley Chapel, let's go ahead and jump into Land O'Lakes. Um, one of the top things and reasons why people want to move here is because it is a little bit more of a rural feel. You get the master plan communities, which we're going to show you in a second. And then you also get those rural fields. So if you want um, you know, to live on a lake, it's Land of Lakes. You can see how many lakes and ponds they have here. If you want to have a horse, you can do that. Um, the main community, since we're, we're talking about that, I showed you this in the vlog. Uh, this is Lake Pageant Estates or Lake Pageant. Um, they have Lake Pageant South, they have the estates, uh, et cetera, et cetera. But this is built around the huge uh, Lake Pageant over here. One of the best things is you can get in there at 250,000. You can probably touch on a million, but the sweet spot there is probably 350 to, you know, 550, 600. And those higher numbers are because you're living lakefront on the lake. The other thing that's really cool about Lake Pageant is they have an equestrian center. So if you're into horses, you can live there and you can um, you can board your horses there and have a you know the ability to go ride your horses anytime you want. Um, most people that live there, like one of my clients that said, hey, I just want a little bit more elbow room. I want to, I want the community feel, but I want to live with a little more space and daylight between my houses. So they do offer a third of an acre. They offer a, uh, a half acre, even sometimes upwards of, of an entire acre uh, of land with your home. So they do have parks, they have the equestrian center, and you can live lakefront. It's a pretty cool place if you want more of that rural feel. Now, moving over to the next community that we showed you was um right here plantation palms you can see in the in the outline of land of lakes this is on the eastern side the biggest benefit of this is the location as far as shopping eateries and getting around there one of my clients bill elmore decided to move here for a couple of reasons one he told me i want to live in a community that is established that has the oak trees that has established palms the landscaping the maturity um, I don't want to live in a new build community. I want to live in a community that's established. The homes have good bones, but yet I'm in a beautiful place in a place that I can call home and be happy and, and prideful of. That's Plantation Palms. They have guard gated, you know, uh, entrance. So you go through, you go through and you see the guard gate. Then you come to the golf course, which is a very nice golf course. In there, they have Mulligan's, which is an Irish pub or Irish restaurant. You can grab a drink, you can grab, you know, bite to eat. 
that's right in your community. So you can bike over, golf cart over, whatever you want. The other thing that's really neat is you can get in here. They have um, standalone villas that are maintenance free. You can get into a villa for about three hundred to three hundred fifty thousand dollars starting off. These are two to three bedroom standalone homes or villas that are maintenance free. Uh, moving upwards from there, you can easily get in with a three fifty, four hundred thousand to probably six hundred, six fifty is going to be your range. But for some beautiful homes, I mean, check out some of these homes from my blog that I just shot. I mean, they're absolutely stunning in the elevations, the, the, the you know, the front of the home and the landscape. It's just, it's beautiful. Um, one of the really neat things about it is it does not have a CDD fee. So to live in a beautiful community like this with no CDD fee, that's, it's very rare. And again, it's a beautiful community. Um, as far as families, they have a ton of little parks and playgrounds in theirs. And then for the little kids, I thought this was really cool and unique. They have their own mini golf course. So check this out. Yeah, there you go. So you, you can see the mini golf. You can go in there as, uh, you know, with your kids on the afternoon and say, hey, let's go, let's go do some putt-putt. So that's really cool. Living here though, uh, as far as location, yes, it's on the Eastern side of uh, Land of Lakes, but you can jump right over here to the Tampa Premium Outlets. Check that out in my vlog about Wesley Chapel but this is only 10 minutes away. This is out an outdoor mall with some of the best shopping, Saks Fifth Avenue, Disney store. You know, they have a food court, so you can get a ton of food around here. I'm talking about restaurants, like Chick-fil-A, uh, they have Rock and Brews, uh, Ford's Garage, you can go there for a phenomenal burger. Uh, anyway, all of that's right there. Right on the other side of the interstate here, you can go to Wesley Chapel's uh, Wiregrass, the shops at Wiregrass. Again, a whole nother area of food and shopping. That's only 10 minutes away from here. If you live here, yeah, you have a little place in, in a local place. And there's eateries all up and down from before. But the Mecca is right here, only 10 minutes away. Now, talking about Land of Lakes, there's a ton of new communities all over the place. I just highlighted three and gave you a variation. I gave you, you know, rural living. I gave you uh, Plantation Palms, which is a well-established golf community. And then of course I gave you a new build community, Bexley, which is right over here. And I want to talk about um, Bexley. This is probably, and I know I'm not allowed to probably say this, but Bexley is one of my favorite. And I only say that because everybody I bring there absolutely falls in love. It's a new build community. They are probably on their end phase or last phase. Um, they have a variety for everyone. Uh, they have, townhomes they have entry level coming in at about 350 375 going all the way up to one and a half million and i mean it is absolutely a beautiful well thought out uh community uh newland is the developer there and they have about six different builders in there if you're looking at the map here this is typically where the uh where the uh, the hub is you can see in that picture there you can see the uh the clubhouse if you go over this way you have your high-end stuff and then if you go this way they actually have all of the parks. I think they have six or seven parks. They have a dog park. They have slides and a cornhole. They have um, over 10 miles of trails, like biking and hiking trails, even through the woods, um, around all the lakes and things like that. Um, one of the neat things is they wanted this area to be uh, an area with just great schools. And, and to confirm that, they actually built their own school, Bexley Elementary. This is a top rated school. Um, it's right in the community, so it's really neat to see some of the kids in the afternoon. They're biking or walking to school. You know, right after school, they come here to one of these parks. Look at this, they have four parks right here next to the school. And all of these houses are right here. So if you live here, kid goes to school, you don't have to worry about the school bus, you just pick them right up. Um, as far as the high school, Sun Lake High School is right here in the area. So again, if you go here, you go there. Uh, and then Charles Roosh uh, is the, the middle school. And again, another highly rated school. As far as schools go and school zones, check out greatschools.org or niche.com. I, I use it as a really good guide, even though I do encourage you to check out the schools uh, personally, because you know those are based on reviews, but they give you an idea of the great schools in the area. And overall, Land Lakes does have some pretty top-notch schools, uh, which is another reason why a lot of families live there. Um, let's see, what else? Um, so those are the three main communities I covered. I think they're all amazing communities and a good uh, variation there. Let's talk about proximity to a few things real quick. Let me zoom back out. Um, people always ask, you know, obviously you're up here in your own suburb, in your own world, and you don't have to leave for anything. There's there's shopping uh, grocery stores literally all around you, um, all up and down 54. There's, you know, uh, 
uh, strip malls with everything from Orange Theory Fitness, you know, gyms to your mom and pop, you know, like Chili's or, or you know, restaurants like Chili's, Hooters, just your pop in, pop out type restaurants. Um, as far as getting in the city, you have two ways to go. You can come this way and you can go 275 and that'll get you into downtown Tampa. You can come right here into Dale Mabry. This is the major highway or 597 that takes you north and south through the center of Tampa. Or what I would do if, if I lived in most of the in Land Lakes is I would come right over here to the line of Odessa and Land Lakes and I would jump on the Veterans Expressway, the Sun Coast, and I would ride this. This is a toll road, drops you right into the Tampa airport. It also takes you over to one of our um, one of our bridges that takes you over to our awesome beaches. St. Pete Beach, Clearwater Beach, those are the two most uh, popular ones. Just this other weekend, I was over here in Honeymoon Island and I got to visit uh, Caladesi, which is a beautiful little kayak over. Again, guys, this is less than an hour away to be at St. Pete. Even quicker to go to Clearwater and if you were just to come over here to Honeymoon, I mean, you're probably talking 40 minutes. Uh, the other thing I like to do from here is you can go to Tarpon Springs and you can visit uh, the Wikiwachi area uh, that's nearby. That's amazing for our fresh water springs. You can um, kayak or canoe down and they're just crystal clear, beautiful time, beautiful day, especially with kiddos. You can pull over, pack a lunch, and it's just, it makes it a great, uh, a great time out, there. great something to do. Um, talking about things to do, let me give you a little oddball one. See right up here, this is considered Land of Lakes. Uh, but it's Tampa Bay Sports Clay Shoe. Let me click on this because I saved it. You can actually go out here and it's actually really safe. They have a lot of rules and they kind of guide everything. But if you don't have a gun, that's fine. You can go rep one. Uh, if you just want to try it out, maybe like, hey, I've never shot a gun. I went up there with a few buddies of mine just to try it out. It's really, really cool. They have a clay shooting, skeet shooting, uh, bunker traps, even like a kind of like an obstacle course uh, that's set up over there. They even have archery. So again, really, really cool. A uh, place to go, something different. There's hot air ballooning over here. I talked about in Wesley Chapel or Zephyr Hills. You can go over here. They have uh, skydiving. These are obviously more of your adventure stuff. But as far as uh, parks, let's say you're just like, oh, I just want to go to a park. Like, is there something simple? Yes, there is a neighborhood park. I think I targeted it right here. The Land Lakes Heritage Park, as well as if you go further down here on 41, there's the Rec Center. Um, I shot that towards the end of my vlog. I was standing in it. That was amazing with football fields and baseball fields. They have a little league, Land Lakes Little League that plays out of there. So if you have any kiddos that play sports, that's probably where you'll go. Um, as far as the park, there's, and again, amazing things, indoor basketball uh, courts and things like that. Um, all in all, it's an amazing area. There's great shopping, there's food, there's uh, restaurants nearby, the amazing communities. And if this is everything that you want to know, I would strongly encourage you to give us a call, shoot us a text, uh, you know, send us an email. Let's jump on a Zoom call and let's really dive into planning your move to Land of Lakes. And until then, we'll catch you on your next video.